Hi guys, welcome back to the Light Finance Global YouTube channel. It's my pleasure to be with you again. Today, very hot topic. We are going to discuss types of the gaps as well as the possible trading strategies. So, without the further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Before we start, please like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave your comments below what do you think about the gap trading. Alright, in the context of the financial markets, a gap refers to the significant difference between the closing price of an asset and the opening price of the same asset on the following trading day. Gaps can occur in the various markets including stocks, FX and commodities. There are several types of the gaps and traders often analyze them to make trading decisions. Here are few examples. Okay, so let's start with the common gap. Okay, and well, the common gap, other name could be the normal gap, uh, occurs when the opening price of the trading session is significantly different from the previous day's closing price, okay? Common gaps are generally considered part of the normal market behavior and may not be as significant in terms of the providing trading signals. So as you can see here, gap, gap. So that's how it works when it comes to the, uh, to the common gap, okay? The next one, uh, and we have it here, is going to be break away gap. Probably you already know. A break away gap typically occurs when after a period of consolidation or a trading range. So as you can see here, there is a trading range, right? And we have a, uh, we have a gap uh, to the upside here okay so after the range moving higher it's often seen as a signal that the new trend is beginning either upward or downward and traders may use breakaway gaps to identify potential opportunities to enter a trend well we here on our example we are working with the uptrend but as I mentioned, it's going to be work the same way when it comes to the downtrend, all right? So now we have a breakaway gap. Well, during the new trend uh, being uh, developed, right? Uh, why we are moving to the upside, some runaway gaps during that trade, uh, during that trend uh, might be visible, okay? But the most important in that case as a another type of the gap is exhaustion gap okay and that's what we have here and within the uh, within the uptrend we are going to have uh, this type of uh, the move and if we are going uh, for example to the to the downside right and then we have this type of the gap at the almost end of the move that's gonna be uh, the exhaustion gap uh, within the downtrend. Now, exhaustion gap usually appears near the end of the strong price movement. All right, it's sometimes, especially within the downtrend, if, 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 if it happens, uh, we are uh, calling this as a giving up, right? The market is giving up. Uh, it's a considered a signal that the current trend might be running out of steam and the reversal could be could be imminent traders may use exhaustion gaps to anticipate trend reversal okay that's very uh, very important and it could take place uh, very close to the old resistance or supply uh, level right what we've seen in the past okay so we know right now 
uh, the types of the gaps okay so it's time right now to try to uh, find some strategies well we have here the uh, pure example of the gaps now i'm going to use my pen to try to explain some uh, some possible trade setups well fake the gap this strategy involves betting that the gap will be filled meaning the price will move back to its pre-gap level traders may go long on the gap down or short on the gap up with the expectation that the price will revert so for example if we see in this gap over here right uh, and if the traders were fading that gap so the next day or next time frame the gap been filled right so in that case uh, the traders been in profit you may also try to go with the gap Alternatively, some traders adopt a strategy of trading in the direction of the gap. And for example, if we have this runaway gap and it's after the period of consolidation, that could be very smart idea to try to follow uh, the upside break in our case, right? So the traders are expecting the momentum to continue. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, is a very common with the breakaway gaps of course it's not a holy grail and we have to properly apply uh, risk management uh, so the proper one has to be uh, in place we have to trade with the stops uh, trying not to fall in love uh, with our uh, with our position all right that's also very very important uh, well as I mentioned, uh, it's not a holy grail and uh, when it comes to the time frame, you may choose to the, try to trade on the specific time frames when the trading gaps appear. For example, day traders may look for intraday gaps while swing traders may focus on the daily or weekly gaps. So when it comes to the day traders, you may try to focus, for example, on the gaps uh, after some uh, announcements, after the uh, news events and uh, something uh, similar into that well trying to uh, conclude uh, it's important to note that while gap trading strategies can be very profitable they also come with risk markets can be unpredictable and gaps may not always follow a specific patterns traders should truly understand the risk and consider using a combination of technical analysis tools to make informed decisions. Additionally, it's essential to stay informed about economic events and other factors that may influence the market. Guys, with that being said, I wish you a great next trading session. Strongly encourage you to do your own research as always, do your own homework, plenty of examples and well, See you around, take care and goodbye.